Tell. Every time it rains, the water that travels down the mountain it hits a turbine, which creates hydrogen power. And we have the um the caps in the middle, which are factories that take in the water and use it for electricity. Like I said, the the Future City competition is a program for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders where they design a city of the future. We've been doing the, the competition for about 18 years. Today we will be choosing the top 5. We also have about 35 special awards that we will be giving out to all the teams. I think that Future City is a great program for kids who aren't really sure what they would be good at. It teaches you that whatever you want to do, if you set your mind to it, you can do it. Sure. Uh, my name is Jason Klingensmith. I'm an assistant chief estimator with Walbridge. Uh, as far as the engineering and the whole urban planning type of stuff, it's, it, it makes them think. And, and not only that, but just having them get the skills together to put together a presentation like this is probably even more valuable, depending if they get into engineering or whatever they get into, to be able to stand up in front of you know, 30 adults that are all asking them a bunch of questions for two hours and to keep going, that's pretty impressive. I don't, I, I could, I don't know if I could do that today, let alone when I was 11 years old. This year, Walbridge is sponsoring the, the Best Design, Engineering, and Construction Award for the Future City event. Uh, basically, we have eight different judges that are, are selecting uh, our award from among 26 different schools that are competing in this year's competition. The award for the Best Design, Engineering, and Construction, sponsored by Walbridge, the voting votes, is St. John Lutheran School. You know, within probably the next eight years after they complete high school and probably their undergraduate degree, we'll see some of these kids entering the workforce in Southeast Michigan and, and all over the country. And uh, so it's our hope that we spark their interest in these these fields and uh, engineering and math, and, and we'll, we'll see them working for Walbridge in the future. 